Welcome to another Group Iron Man episode. In this one, I am actually going to do Corrupted Gauntlet. But not only that, I am also going to try to get some total levels because I am now behind a bit on total levels. I think most of us are getting closer to 1700 and I do want to keep up with the team on that front. Of course, Doug is uh, a bit behind, but he is grinding hard. It just completed the recipe for disaster, so he should catch up in no time. But uh, I have a couple of skills here that are a bit lower, like fishing, thieving, crafting, uh, rune crafting especially. So yeah, let's get some total levels and beside that, of course, do some corrupted gauntlet now and then. Have a decent amount of uncuts from the corrupted gauntlet. So first level we're going to get is 60 crafting, which is going to be broadcasted in the clan as well. There we go. 60 crafting and 1650 total level so that is going to be a lot of notifications for the clan i actually managed to squeeze in 61 crafting with the gems i had but now i want to do some thieving but before doing that i feel like you're getting the rogues outfit is definitely a good thing so i guess do i talk to this guy or this guy not sure but uh yeah let's do the mini game and get the rogues outfit the rogues then plugin is not defaulted into rune light so if you're going to do this definitely download it it is on the plugin hub it literally tells you even in text what you're supposed to do so first it says i have to stand on these tiles and then after that i need to run to the next ones if i don't do that it is going to fail the thing and also here just open and then here it says i have to run and open this one otherwise i am also going to get caught by these traps so if you follow this, it is the most simple thing ever in the whole game. Is the first one going to be a success? Oh my god, it is not. Okay, so basically, oh my god, some agility experience as well. So basically when you get to the end, it is kind of RNG, depending on your thieving level, if you're going to succeed, if you succeed you can get one of the pieces, or you can get like a lockpick or something bad. But uh, yeah, this probably will take some time to get. We have a crate, let's see what we get. A piece of rogues equipment, oh, so you actually get to choose, so that is perfect. That is now the first piece, I guess, mask. Perfect, one piece down. Oh my god, I'm so lucky. Uh, I actually only failed one time, and that is the entire set completed. Let's go to the bank, the full rogues outfit is now done. We can now do thieving getting double loot that is by the way what the set does this is actually giving you double loot every time you pickpocket so i'm going to be doing some blackjacking and i completed the feud quest here in just a second actually gives a lot of thieving experience as well i think 15k and that is going to be an entire level basically i think i'm like 8,000 off or something okay i guess that should be the feud quest completed 15k and that is 56 thieving as well but let's get blackjacking if we get this knockout here, this is going to be 60 thieving, first milestone level of this video, very nice. I am uh, going to do quite a bit of thieving in this video, so let's see how far we can get. Look at this, Nick actually told me he has finally finished all the dragon boots and the tridents, and I put my tridents back in the storage, so I'm going to take out one of each. That is going to be one for everyone in the team. So whenever we actually want to do raids, like Chambers of Seric in the future, we all have a tridents which is actually massive but look at this the climbing boots give two strength bonus and like no defensive and the dragon boots give four and decent defensive so that is super nice upgrade pretty big thieving level here because at 65 i can do mana fight thugs which is actually quite a bit better experience so let's fly through some levels so this is going to be a 70 thieving and mana fight thugs are actually insanely good experience but i am not really getting that much use of my rogue outfit because i don't think it duplicates the money when they are knocked out so i'm actually going to try some ardoin knights for a bit i do want to get the ardoin medium diary first the done because that gives a 10 percent pickpocket success rate in inside of Ardoin, which of course the knights are, and I have to complete four quests for that. I basically only have to start the watchtower, but might as well complete it when I'm at it. So that's going to be four quests completed, and then I can be able to complete the diary. Here we go, the first quest completed, 9k crafting, 1k thieving for Hand in the Sand, which is actually a very useful quest outside of just the diary. Now I can access the uh, rune shop up in the uh, second floor. Let's go to, uh, I think it's this guy right here. Now he sells me a bunch of different runes. So this is a good way to get nature runes. Tower of Life completed. 210 quest points. I am getting a bit closer to the quest cape, but uh, still pretty far off because I have some big quests to do. 
Actually, I have 105 out of 150, so I'm not quite there yet. Actually, very nice to have the Watchtower quest completed, four quest points, and a good magic experience. But as you can see, it also unlocks the Watchtower teleport, so I can actually use this now. And that is a pretty fast Yanil teleport. Why can't I use this? Oh, I guess I <laughs> have to learn it first. There we go. Now I can use it, and this is a fast teleport to Yanil. Instead of having to go through the Castle Wars teleport. And here we go. This is actually going to be the last quest I needed to do. The Enlightened Journey for some nice experience as well. 3k farming. Nice. So we can actually complete the entire Medium Diary now. Now, as you can see in the chat, it says that you've got a 10% better chance of pickpocketing in... Ardoin. So if you complete the hard diary, you basically get that bonus for everywhere. So it is kind of good for like wires where you can get the blood shot from pickpocketing. But uh, yeah, that is now 10% better pickpocketing in Ardoin for Ardoin Knights. Also, I'll put this on Erdor, I think. Or 7.5k. Well, I have done roughly an hour of this now, and even with the diary, I am getting 104,000 experience an hour, and apparently the money on this level is actually not really that much better than Mena Fight Thugs anyways. So, uh, I am going to stop doing this, but it's nice to have the diary done anyways for the future when I'm going to do Ardoin Knights on higher levels. I mean, it's not even close. Look at this. 190,000 experience an hour. It's almost double on the Mena Fight Thugs, so uh, yeah, definitely doing this. 1 million thieving experience on the counter, and that is now 75 thieving. That means I've done like 20 thieving levels in this video, and I feel like that's quite enough. So I'm going to take a break from thieving now, maybe for this video. And uh, yeah, 20 total levels is very nice. I'm now at 1671. I'm going to wait for Dark World Order, who is currently using the Dragon Pickaxe, to do some day alt essence mining to train my runecrafting until he is done. I am going to probably AFK some fishing. Well, I ended up doing just two quick levels, but apparently I cannot use the Dragon Pickaxe because Nick has to use it for 68 mining from 64, and I don't want to wait that long, so I'm just going to do day alt mining with my rune pickaxe, which I have a lot of. Actually, it was not that bad. We have 10,000 day alt shards, and I actually got a mining level as well, so we're only one total level off another milestone, 1675, but let's actually get all the day alt essence for this, and then after that I have to do the Lunar Diplomacy quest, because uh, if I'm doing the Oriana Altar, I need the teleport on the Lunar Spellbook for that. So uh, let's... Uh, well, I have to cover a charge like this. I guess 11k, and that is now a lot of essence. And that is the Lunar Diplomacy quest completed. Actually, runecrafting experience for this as well, 5,000. And that is going to be one runecrafting level. It should be, yeah, pretty close to two. And that is the 1675 total level achieved as well. And uh, what I needed on this spellbook, actually, I can just change it uh, now, I guess. Let's uh, pray. And now we're on the Lunar Spellbook, and it should be around... 71 this one oriana teleport it teleports you to the beginning where you basically bank pick up all the essence and you run to the altar teleport back again and repeat so when i can get my minigame teleport ready i'm going to teleport to soul wars and go and get my medium pouch from the abyss but until then i just wanted to try and see how much one inventory with just a small pouch is going to be in runecrafting experience 441 uh that did not include the pouch as well, so 506 in one run. And then I basically just teleport with this one to the beginning, run to the bank as well. You can see everyone is doing that. And also when the pouches degrade, I have the NPC contact, can talk to the Dark Mage and basically repair the pouches this way, instead of having to go all the way to the Abyss. Yeah, because I was on the Lunar Spellbook, I had to wait for my minigame teleport, but that is the medium pouch. So now I can start training this a bit more efficiently. Quite an important milestone, 50 runecrafting incoming here, and that means I can now actually get a large pouch, so I have to go over to the abyss again and kill some monsters to get it. There it is, the large pouch that took a bit actually, I had to kill like 60 monsters maybe, so not terrible, but a while. And this is where I'm going to stop doing runecrafting for this video. Let's craft these runes. I think I've done 6,000 essence and apparently I forgot to repair the pouch. But that is 55 runecrafting. And it went pretty fast, I would say. It's not that bad. 
but uh, I am now 1689 total, but there is something now that I want to do because I have the Lunar Spellbook and that is unlock Humidify because I have 3000 grapes in the bank, which is uh, equal to 600,000 cooking experience if I use them on jugs of water and using the Humidify spell with it is... Can you guys hear this? That's a plane. Holy... <laughs> Hey, can I record please? But uh, yeah, that is going to speed up uh, filling the jugs of water by a lot. So I'm going to do the Dream Mentor quest. So I'm going to be doing the boss fight now for Dream Mentor. And this boss right here, the Inadequacy, is actually the by far best boss to have unlocked in the Nightmare Zone. So actually doing this is a massive thing for the account. Whenever I want to imbue anything from the Nightmare Zone, having this actually just boosts the points by a lot. I think the first time on my account, my main account, I didn't have this. I got like 400k, 500k points an hour with really good stats. After I got this, I got a million. So it, it is just crazy. It's super good. But that is the Dream Mentor completed. New Lunar Spells is now unlocked and 15k hit points, 10k magic and a Dreamy Lamp, which is actually a combat lamp that I can't actually use on a Prayer, I'm pretty sure. So let's see what we can use it on. Okay, I'm just going to put it on hit points. I think that's fine. And that is 15k hit points experience. So now to show off the humidify spell. Look at this. I can just click this with a full inventory of jugs. Wait a second. And they are now all jugs of water. So that's going to speed up the process a lot. Shouldn't take that long to get 3000. And that is all the wines completed, 3000 unfermented wines, 5 seconds to see these total levels coming in. How many are we going to get? 600,000 cooking experience for 6 total levels, only 5 away from 1700 now. We have made some nice total level gains in this video. Honestly, I wanted to get 1700 for the video, but getting 5 total levels is just going to take too long and I will have to postpone the video. But I did actually promise some corrupted gauntlet in the beginning of this video, so I'm going to do a couple of them. And uh, let's see if we can get lucky and get the first crystal seed for the account. And the first chest is of course number 51 for the account. Let's see what we can get. And that is an average drop, unfortunately. <laughs> oh my god, there's no way I missed it! I got a crystal weapon seed. I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. But uh, that is terrible. It is the worst seed you can get. It is made to use the crystal bow and crystal shield, which you can just buy anyways. So that basically just saved me like, what, 700k if I want to buy the bow in the future? Which is okay, I guess, but the armor seed is the really good one. To compare it in value on the main game, the armor seed is actually like 11 million. So it is quite a difference. Meanwhile, I failed and got a Mithril Fall Helmet. This guy gets an Enhanced Crystal Weapon Seed. That's what I want. That's the one in 400 that gives the Bow of Theradinan. Oh, no way, dude. Ah, uh, another Crystal Weapon Seed. The worst one I can get. I'm clearly feeling that this is not my day. I died twice before actually getting the fifth kill here and also getting unlucky with the weapon seeds. This is going to be the last chest I open. Please be something nice. And it is not. But uh, 55 KC done, more than halfway towards that 100 mark. And I guess we got some stuff for the collection log. Does it actually show for the collection log? I need to check that. I'm not sure it does the gauntlet and yeah okay it does so that is nice at least that is an unlock but this is where i'm going to end the video if you're wondering i have 651 crystal shards for whenever we do get that bow of theradin which is going to be the dream when i can actually have that but for now this will be the end of this video hope you guys did enjoy it remember to like the video if you liked it subscribe if you want to see when i post new content you can also click any of the annotations on the screen right now videos playlists whatever you want to do and until next time guys, take care.